most stressful 15 minutes of my life. First of all, I decided to stop at Wendy's because I worked late. Sorry, I'm taking off my jacket. I'm trying, trying, keyword, to hang it up. This better be good. So this is two days outfit. Old Navy, Old Navy, Walmart, Saucer, Ardeans. Um, I recently got this in one of my last videos. I'm sorry, I'm so tired. So yeah, my hair got matted throughout the day. I wish that I wore this shirt tomorrow because I have a safety site. Which means I have to get in full gear, which includes a fluorescent yellow or orange safety vest. That is Velcro and I wore that once and it stuck to it and then I wore a beige sweater last week and it stuck to it. And I only have sweaters left but I don't think it would have stuck to this if I just wore this. So regrets. Um, I don't really have many options. I wore the black shirt I already wore. I have this but I think I'd freeze and then I have two different sweaters. White's probably not my best option. <laughs> I have a short sleeve black t-shirt, but I'd freeze this, but it's cropped, so I don't know. Then I have my fluffy things, so yeah. I gotta plan better. I just have to bring outfits or wear clothes on Thursdays, which are safety walk days that, oh Jesus, that are more... What is it? What am I trying to even say? Um, oh, not so sweater materially. So I got my laptop. I think I'm gonna do some work. Waiting for Samantha Joe to upload. Cause she's pretty much the only vlogmas person I watch on a daily basis. Forgot about my Coke. So, I forgot to put that away. Let me just quickly put out my trash. Um, well, oh yeah. If I don't set an alarm as soon as I get home from work, it's very risky that I will oversleep tomorrow. Yesterday I fell asleep so early. It was just so off. Oh, sorry. I had to sneeze. And today was a pretty off day too. I don't know if it's because I fell asleep when I got home from work yesterday, but this morning I just felt really off. Um, my period is in seven days, not that you asked. Definitely TMI, but I don't know if that's something to do with it. I just downloaded the um, Flow app and well, I did in my last period, and I'm learning so much about it. I only downloaded it because it's also probably too much. I missed a period in the summer, or in September. Somewhere between September and November, I missed a period, and I'm like, that's not normal. So, I um, just want to keep track of it, just any changes, because I... I don't want anything to happen. PCOS runs in my family, but I've had, like, I don't have any symptoms except I missed one period, which I don't think is that big of a deal because I was pretty depressed at that time. And I randomly gained 40 pounds in a year. And if anything, as I had Wendy's tonight, if anything, I eat so much healthier than I ever have. And I actually am not like overly stressed like I was. Like this time last year, I ate out every single day fast food. I love my fast food because I worked so much and I was a full-time student and I didn't gain a pound. And then after I graduated, I gained 40. So actually, okay. After last Christmas, I gained 40 pounds. 
So in like a year, I gained 40 pounds, I guess. That was a year ago. Oh. But I'd say I gained probably 10 of them from last Christmas to graduation. And then I gained 30 over the summer. Which makes no sense. Besides the fact that I did break my leg, I was pretty active. And yeah. I have so much old footage on here of videos I never uploaded because honestly I was just too depressed to do anything. But that's a different story. I don't really talk about depression because I never was diagnosed. I'll talk about my panic disorder and I'll talk about OCD because I've had those while well, my panic disorder for a year. Happy one year anniversary. I'm just joking. Um, I had my panic disorder for a year and it definitely fluctuates. This time last year I was gearing up for my first actual mental breakdown, which was probably one of the worst parts of my life. And my panic disorder was at an all time high. Um, and when I have panic attacks, I literally feel like I'm dying. And I'm one of the lucky people that um, on some panic attacks I will pass out just because I have a tendency to pass out in everyday life. I have since I was a kid, I literally passed out in front of my entire high school in the ninth grade. Yeah, I passed out in Pandora <laughs> before and with the bracelet still on me and the Pandora people took it off me, which I get, like maybe someone's trying to rob you. I live in a small or place, there's like 70,000, 80,000 people, so it's like, <laughs> okay I guess, but... I legit passed out and then when they realized that I actually passed out they were kind of like oh but when I started getting panic attacks I started passing out or almost passing out um, most of the times because I've passed out many times in my past I know when I'm getting a panic attack so I can try or I know when I'm about to pass out so I can try and like sit down or like put my head between my legs or like lay with my feet in the air take some water or sometimes because uh, I know I'm having a panic attack and I know I'm going to pass out. I can just talk myself down from it. That's something I learned in therapy. And it works, maybe 50. Um, but it's just kind of like, it's a panic attack, like you're okay, like your heart's not actually going to explode. And then when I hear ear ringing, that's when I know it's like, I'm going to pass out. So I just got to lay down. Um, but yeah, definitely we'll talk about my panic disorder or OCD because I've had OCD since I was like four <laughs> but I never was diagnosed with depression um I definitely think that during times I have depression but I feel like there's especially because when you have one mental illness like you're prone to get more of them but um I there yeah I honestly don't really know a time in my life where I wasn't depressed I feel like, or that's kind of a lie. I, I really don't know. Maybe I just have, I've just been sad for most of my life. But like, this is way, way too deep right now. Yeah, we're going back to happy, fun time. <laughs> Me realizing how much I suck at YouTube. And how much I wish I was better. I used to have a schedule and be so good at it. And then, maybe, maybe it was depression. I really don't know. Life just <sighs> hits you. But I feel like, knock on wood, right now, I feel like I'm in a much better place. And I'm getting to a much better place. I wish I was losing weight. I really don't know how I'm not losing weight. Because I'm way healthier. Obviously, everyone has slip-ups. But, what are you gonna do? Living on the road, guys. Oh. I don't know what just happened. My phone is dying. So I'm going to edit and I'll get back to you soon, I guess. <laughs> Sorry if I'm not looking at the right spot either. I'm vlogging on my iPhone because my camera I left at home accidentally. And I keep looking at the wrong place because I got a new phone. So, sorry. <laughs> so since I didn't film much today, I think I'm going to do a night routine. So that will be fun so to kick off this night routine we're gonna take off my makeup it's gonna balance you oh 
that's definitely part of it. Wow. So I'm literally using my reusable Starbucks cup as a tripod since I don't have my camera. I think I'm gonna buy the Canon M100, M10, G7X something um, soon unless Santa brings it for me. I just dropped this for Christmas, but I think I'll do one voiceover probably for my night routine. So it's great talking to you um, in person and roll the footage. <laughs>